His topic is the way of water hydro damage in cataract surgery. Dr. Morekar, please. Today we are going to talk about endothelial cell damage during cataract surgery. There are five ways in which there can be damage. Heat, ultrasound, water, particulate matter or air. Maximum damage occurs due to water. There are multiple studies that prove this. The volume of water which is used is the most important parameter. The major way in which water causes damage is by the sheer turbulence. The only way to gauge the degree of turbulence in the AC is to observe the movement of the air bubble while carrying out actual surgery. Good Lord, just look at the turbulence and only on entry. Now, I'm going to move the probe as in a normal FACO. Hmm, even here, the turbulence is significant. We are now repeating the same surgical steps with an AC maintainer in place. Wow, just look at that, will you? There's hardly any turbulence on entry. And even on moving the probe, the level of turbulence is near zero. The additives in the irrigating fluid also matter a lot. Phenylephrine can cause a dramatic increase in corneal thickness, which is called as drug-induced edema. Cellular vacuolation takes place even if it is used as a drop. The osmolality also plays a very important role. With essential ions present in the irrigating fluid, cells tolerate a fairly wide range of osmolality, ranging from 200 to 400 milliosmoles, without exhibiting marked cell breakdown. Beyond pH of 6.5 to 8.5, direct cell damage and increased swelling rate takes place. What is the effect when topicals are used or intracamerals are used? There was no difference found between both the groups. So if you see here, uh, the BSS at 4 degrees centigrade and the BSS at 22 degrees centigrade, the cell loss is uh, quite a bit there. But uh, with uh, viscoat and uh, all the other uh, viscoelastic substances, even at 30 uh, seconds, there's not much of a damage. So... Uh, so that... So that's a new term we have talked, uh, we have devised, which calls it the endothelial enhanced uh, accelerated acquired progeria. Progeria is where uh, you will get even a 14 year old uh, looking like an 84. So when I have done surgeries on uh, 24 year olds, 34 year olds, and when I've used a lot of water thinking that uh, the cataract can be aspirated out and doesn't need phaco energy, and then you look at the endothelial uh, 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 f function and the endothelial morphology and you realize that the endothelial cell actually has uh, turned uh, pretty old. So that is an acquired progeria for the endothelium. So you really got to be uh, aware of how much volume you are using of water. So uh, the second time you are using a second uh, uh, BSS or a second bottle of uh, ringer lactate uh, 
the second bottle of BSS will not do much of a damage, but a second bottle of RL or a third bottle of RL will do quite a bit of uh, damage. So if you're going to use more fluids, it'd rather be BSS plus and uh, uh, lesser the additives because that's where your poison is. The additives are the poison. That's the whole message. Yeah, it's a very good message to take, I think. We don't necessarily follow <clears throat> Follow that, you know, you should try to finish your surgery earlier and use less of these, uh, anything that goes inside the eye can cause damage to the endothelium and the other structures. I think that's a very good point. The, the, other thing, the other thing that we were talking about is that uh, you saw the apoptosis and the uh, cells uh, rupturing. So if you take these endothelial cells in a petri dish and you look at uh, time-lapse pictures, you will realize that these cells swell and they uh, undergo apoptosis even if you keep them under a balance all solution for half an hour. So, all those people who are doing their surgeries for a very long time, thinking that I will use lesser uh, phaco energy. So we talk about phaco energy, but we don't talk about uh, water. Uh, it's like uh, in Hindi we say, Pani pila pila ke maar diya. Yeah, it's the other thing that I've seen that most of these patients are elderly and they're diabetics. <clears throat> and the endothelial cell loss is more in diabetic patients. Uh, you'll be surprised to know that the highest number of endothelial cells is there in Japanese race. You know, they, yes. they are born with 5,000 cells. Yes. So the yes. Bullus keratopathy rate is very low. And I had done a study one year when I was there of comparing the endothelial cell loss in diabetics versus non diabetics. And it was definitely much higher in diabetic population. So I think the point is very well taken. I think and, and the uh, fast surgery is the secret. I think. Yeah. So and and uh, uh, more important is the uh, additives that the company adds in. So when you have the ascorbate in, or you when when I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have a peeling of my lip skin if my vitamin C levels are high or if my B12 levels are high. So vitamin B12, six uh, uh, and. Uh, 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 sell in, uh, if you add in the post-operative period, you do realize that suddenly somehow your endothelial cell losses are not that bad. So ascorbate does have a role to play, which is there in uh, BSS+. Plus. So that is something. Great, great. Thank you.